What is happening everybody? It's me Marcus back here in BMX Streets Pipe and this is it. This is the final episode of the Venice Plaza and we've got one of the coolest parts of this whole map. The whole place is sick, don't get me wrong. But this is the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 Venice Park and you guys have seen this in Skater XL. It's been ported over to that game and now it's in this part of the map of the Venice Plaza. So this is going to be really cool to check out and just kind of see how this rides because normally this is something that you would skate in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I did play Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 as a kid. The only thing is I actually never made it to the Venice Park in the game because as a kid <laughs> I, uh, I wasn't really good at the game. I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know how to actually get through a career mode. All I knew how to do was put in cheat codes and even at that age I don't think I knew how to put in cheat codes when Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 was out. I completely missed that double tag. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and ride this a little bit better. I'm a bit out of practice when it comes to this game. We'll go into this, uh, kinda like a half bowl that's down here. I just got a new controller too, so I'm psyched on that. This is actually the first time I'm using it. I keep getting up top here. Ooh, maybe I'm getting these lip tricks down. <laughs> I like pivot it. I did like a, a late 180 there. Can I get on the rail somehow? I wonder if I can hop on the rail and then transfer in. Oh, that was sick. That was really cool. That was not. Can I do a 360 tail whip? Oh, 180. That was cool. I like how I landed in, uh, in a double peg fakie. I do want to get a 360. Uh, whip and land right there on that little little skinny spot check this out real quick here's the new controller right here so just your standard white xbox one controller here's the old one but look at look at these sticks so i don't know how well you can see because my lighting is not the best but my dog when he was a puppy and this is a long time ago he uh decided to bite on the thumbstick so those things got super beat and worn down and just like the controller itself is just old Oh yeah, <laughs> that was awesome how I just rode into that. That was pretty cool, but not what I was looking for. Staying straight is the hard part about this. Oh, this has got to be it right here. Nope. <laughs> oh, there it is. I thought I was going to flip into a double peg. I don't know why I said flip. I thought I was going to drop into a double peg. But that worked out really nice. This is cool. This is so cool to be able to ride up here on the, the top of this thing. Ah, slow-mo. The slow-mo in this game is so cool. New controller feels good, too. It is a little tricky kind of to adapt to it. It's got that new feeling to it, so the, the sticks feel, they feel different. So I've got to adjust to that. This is awesome though. I like the little half pipes that are kind of everywhere around this place. And that's how Tony Hawk is. If you've never played a Tony Hawk game, which I'm sure 99% of you guys watching this video have played at least one Tony Hawk game, you know how they do it with the ramps just everywhere. I mean, there are quarter pipes and half pipes and just like pretty much everything's a ramp in a Tony Hawk game. Oh, <laughs> I came up just a little bit short. Got it that time. I almost cased it though. Another solar panel right here. <laughs> That's sick. Let me put a marker up here. Then you can jump off the roof. You've got the picnic tables down here. And then I don't remember if this was in this thing right here. I don't even know what you would call this, but I don't remember that in the Skater XL version. But I feel like it would be there because I don't think he would put anything out here that that wasn't in the in the Tony Hawk version. So again, I don't have any experience with the Tony Hawk version of this map, but I do have experience with the Skater XL version of it. 
which is a replica of the Tony Hawk version. This is so cool because this does actually ride really good. It, it still has that PlayStation 1 type of look to it with the pixelated textures and the, um, just everything out here looks very PS1 era when it comes to just the whole level and kind of how the edges are really boxy and square like nothing is really a smooth edge and that's how the PS1 version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 was so that's really cool and to be able to ride it in BMX Street's pipe is awesome too just because you don't normally get to ride a Tony Hawk level in a BMX game because it's a Tony Hawk level <laughs> so that's really cool to be able to do this big handrail right here and then at the bottom quarter pipe and there's even more stuff that I'm missing so we'll go back up onto the roof and I'll show you that this spot's interesting it's kind of like a wall ride up there even though I didn't hit it there it is and then right here I know in Tony Hawk Pro Skater do it in this game too <laughs> you can grind along those power lines or whatever they are that is awesome that these are grindable that is so cool this is an awesome level the whole thing but this is awesome to have this Tony Hawk section in here can I get down to the bowl I'm not gonna be able to make it yeah <laughs> that was a really really far gap at least coming from a dead stop up on top of the coping like that. Ooh, check this out, Double King Tubba. Or maybe it's Triple Kings. I can never, I can never figure out how many kings are in a rail or a hubba. We got two. It looks like two. That section looks to be a little oververt right there. Yeah, it is. Because the way it tossed me back out to the flat. Try it again. Maybe I can transfer into it this time. Nope. <laughs> right to flat. <laughs> Let's see if this is oververt. If it tosses me back out to the flat. Yeah. Yeah, the thing's definitely oververt. There's one other section that I did not get to, and actually, actually there are two other sections I didn't get to. There's this ledge right here which is really cool. I remember I skated this part in Skater XL when I played this level in that game. It's just like a street spot over here. Kind of like the, the edge of the map. Can I gap from one rail all the way over? That's going to be tricky, but I want to try and get that. Yeah, there it is. Tell without. Sweet. Now can I 180 between them? I don't know. That one's going to be a little bit more difficult, I think. I think I got it, though. Dude, it keeps switching me back straight. Every time. I can't seem to get it. I'm gonna try and do a double tire ride though. I'm gonna double tire ride the first one and then I'm gonna do the 180 and then hopefully land doing something backwards. Whether that's a fakey double tire ride, that'll be really cool. So that's what I'm gonna do actually. <laughs> I was thinking it might be easier to just do a double peg backwards and it probably will, but if I can hop into a backwards double tire ride um, and do that fakey, that'll be sweet. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you've got to use the left trigger when you're doing the double tire ride. Press down on the left trigger and it'll kind of just like lean it to the left. And when you hop out of it, it'll hop to the left. And if you want to go to the right, then you do the right trigger. It's the little stuff like that that you figure out with the game as you play it. Um, it's not one of those things that you can find anywhere in the game telling you how to do it. You just kind of learn it as you go. And I'm still learning things. With all the time I have in this game, I'm still learning how to do things in it. I can't seem to get into a fakey double tire ride. I don't even know if that's possible. Oh, 
Oh, the fakie double tie right does work. It gets up into it if you do it right. I haven't been doing it right. Why was that not it? Oh my god. I can't seem to get it. I'm just gonna have to take an L on this one and take the trick that I've got. Doing the double tie ride to a 180 and then doing the fakie double peg with a bar spin 180 out is really awesome. So I'll just have to take that one. And there's one other section of this place that I have not ridden yet. Oh, this is a nice rail. 360 out. 360 candy bar That's a cool gap over the fence right there and, and then dropping down into this area right here <laughs> That was sketchy This area right over here if I can manage to get to it is kind of like the hidden area out here I don't think no, this is how you get to it. I'm pretty sure I can get down here it's hidden back here and it's just kind of um, I mean it's just kind of this back area there's really not too much to it you've got some ramps and then you've also got this grass gap in the stair set right over here I believe it's a grass gap I could be wrong there's some ledges too no it's a grass ledge and then a stair set <laughs> They've got the ledge there and then the stair set. What is this? This is different. This isn't in the Tony Hawk map at all. It's like a... It's just a wooden round thing. I guess you can ride in it. Wanna try it? Yeah, you can get inside that thing. From the rock? <laughs> I guess from the rock you can get in there. I don't know how though. Maybe I can jump into it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. It almost looks like a sombrero. This thing in the middle. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Very different, very different. And then here's the last spot. I've actually never ridden this before. So this is the Venice Field. And there's really not much to ride up here. Can I get in though? Right here I can. <laughs> if I don't hit the pole. Can I kick the soccer ball? <laughs> yeah, I can. So I'm gonna run around, I'm gonna get a goal. That's how I'm gonna end this video and that's how I'm gonna end this series. I'm gonna try and kick the soccer ball into the goal. It might be easier if I ride my bike. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ride my bike for this one. <laughs> this is gonna actually be pretty tough. Might need to do it in first person. That way I can really see if I'm going straight at it. Oh, there it is. It didn't go in. It looked like I was going right for it. Goal! Oh, it says it. That is so sick. What a great way to end this video and this series. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. If you enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe for more content if you're new around here I'm excited to get back to checking out some other parks but this one is so awesome if you haven't yet played this one definitely go and try it out other than that I'm out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one